Hey, what's going on guys? This is Zero System and I am back again for a very quick video showing you how I go about planning my kits for paint using Photoshop. This is a very, very easy way to mock up your kit and get a good look at it before you commit to painting. I reference back to this a lot while building and painting, so it definitely becomes helpful for me. We'll be using Photoshop. These are very, very basic tools, so I imagine you could probably get this to work in free programs like GIMP as well. So the first thing you're going to want to do is Google the name of the Gundam you want to paint and try to find the Gundam Wiki link. Um, there you'll find a bunch of images of your suit, which are usually the best to pick from because they'll be high quality and there'll be a lot of them. So down here I have the Gundam Wiki link, so we're going to go ahead and click that and it's going to load up the page for the Grimoire Red Beret. And usually I scroll down to the bottom and look through there first. And it looks like down here there are um, really no great images. So we're going to go ahead and use the profile image. Um, one thing I look for down here, though, is line art. So line art is kind of ideally what you're looking for, and that's what we're going to be making today. Line art looks like this. It's just a black and white photo of your suit um, with just the lines. And some, some suits already have that um, on the Gundam Wiki page, and if you can find that, go ahead and grab it. Um, but if you can't, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you that you can go ahead and choose a fully colored and shadowed illustration like this picture, and it will still um, work. You can still go ahead and use that, desaturate it, and color it um, and get the same effect. Just a little bit more work, but you can still do it. So go ahead and, um, or at least in this case, I went ahead and click on the image and get the uh, click the C full size or the full size image, get the highest quality version of the image you can. Um, even if it's a small one, just get the biggest uh, resolution you can. Drag that to your desktop and go ahead and open that in Photoshop. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go to adjustments and then black and white. And what that's going to allow you to do is mess with the individual colors of the um, illustration. So as you can see here, I'm messing with the red. I drag it all the way down and it makes all the reds completely black, which is the opposite of what we want. So we're going to take them the other way and make them completely white. And if we make it too, if we drag it too far to the right, it'll desaturate, or I'm sorry, you'll begin to lose detail uh, on, on the lines of the illustration. So you want to find the happy medium between the two. So as you can see here, I'm going through, um, and the object in this step is to make all the colors as close to white or gray as you can. And then here you're going to go to adjustments, and then you're going to go to, you can do curves. I like to use levels for this. Probably you can do either one. I use levels, and then um, use the right side or the left side. It may differ depending on your particular image. Start playing with the buttons and try to get rid of the shadows. As you can see here, I have a pretty nice um, line art image of the Grimoire Red Bereno, one that wasn't available on the site. So the next step is to create a new layer, which is important, and you're going to use the brush tool. You can just hit the shortcut B and select your color. Uh, you can use the brackets to increase or decrease the brush size. It does not have to be perfect or neat or anything, but just begin blocking in uh, the colors you know, where you want them. So I wouldn't actually paint a Gundam this color, but just for the sake of the demonstration, again, going through and coloring uh, different panels, red, blue, coloring the gun a bright green to show you guys um, you know, what this technique will do. And it's very, very easy, very quick. Like I said, it does not have to be, it does not have to be perfect because in the next step, um, you'll see that it all comes together quite nicely. So I went ahead and filled in that last part green and the, and the shoulder green just to get some more colors in there. And then the last step is really just to grab the opacity and dial that down. And you'll see that your line art begins to pop through the, um, the colors that you, that you just, you know, sloppily or whatever, just slap down there. So as far as pre-planning or pre-painting a kit, whatever, this is like a super, super easy way to do it. Right now I'm working on the Gundam Impulse Arc, I think it is. And so this is a line art illustration that I made the other day for pre-planning that one. And it's a completely purple and orange kit. So I went through and kind of made it protagonist colors. And um, this really came in handy because 
doing the protagonist colors with the red and yellow and uh, blue, it's kind of, it's easy really to, to overdo it or underdo it or to get too much in one color. And um, but by using the system, I'm able to kind of balance things out very nicely digitally before I even touch a spray can. Um, so it makes things definitely a lot more easier in the planning stages, which makes things easier in the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. I hope you um, start using this technique to plan your kits. Or even if you don't, maybe you'll, you can at least color, uh, print it out on paper and color it with a crayon. Because uh, mocking it up definitely does help. So uh, see you in the next video. Please subscribe and be sure to hit me on Instagram, instagram.com slash zero system with two M's. Peace.